Hi, my name is Shivan. I'm an electrical engineering grad student and I'm actually from India. This is where I am from. This little pink state, Kerala. My name is Bryant Cho and I am a fourth year computer science major at the Jacobs School of Engineering at UCSD. And um, we've been working on lots of fun projects over here. So my name is Derek Lomas and I'm a third year student in the School of Visual Arts at UCSD, getting my Master of Fine Arts. And I've been uh, looking into social design over the past couple years. And so I was chosen to be on this team. I didn't quite know why. I was pretty passionate about cell phone design and things like that. Well, they brought us over here and uh, we've been finding out a lot about the state of technology in India. There's not a lot of computers, but the mobile phone market is the fastest growing in the world. So these are the PCOs that are all over India. Um, they're public pay phones. So it's actually not uncommon that these pay phones are hooked up to the wireless network because landlines don't exist. There's only 4% four, 4 of the population is only connected through landline telephones. So we had uh, three projects that we worked on. Uh, one that is a voice interface for mobiles. That's a brew app that sits on top of the native interface and is um, catered, allows... Yeah, <clears throat> catered for the people that cannot read or write as well, or read. <laughs> and because there's so many different languages in India, it uh, speaks to you in your own language. So you can load on different languages and all the menus work in your language like Malayalam. Another app that we made was a phrase trainer. So we put some English phrases in there, some Hindi phrases in there. So it can be used for a person trying to learn English. It can also be used for the traveler coming to India and wanting to, want to learn simple things. The third thing that we worked on is the sewing machine. So the power, power is a big thing in India. Um, uh, so there's reliable power, not fully reliable power, and then no power at all. And then places like Bihar, uh, there are some villages where there's no electricity at all. So for places like that, uh, we we were thinking about a power solution so that people can still charge their mobile phones. So there were, where there isn't electricity, there's there's still sewing machines. Sewing machines are everywhere. They're powered by the foot. Yeah, exactly. And people make their own clothes, and they've got this big flywheel on it. And we thought, well, what if we could use the energy from that flywheel that a person's generating with their foot that they do for as many as 18 hours a day? and use it to power a dynamo and charge a mobile phone. So we uh, hacked something together out of a hair tie and some uh, cap of a WD-40 canister and a bunch of parts we got off the street. And the idea is to make a very low cost, um, human powered electricity generator that would attach to an existing sewing machine and allow a person to charge their phone when there's no power and also be able to make a little bit of extra money because people will actually, in, in, like our driver, he's from Jharkhand, which is near Bihar, and he said that he'd have to travel three hours by bus to um, charge his mobile phone for five rupees. And so if people had the ability to just make a little bit of extra money, that'd be great. Yes, it works. It works. <laughs> The best thing about living in the biggest city in the world is that you can find anything, you can do anything, you can find the most interesting people off the streets and pretty much live in a world where there is no monotony. <laughs> by the Shivangan Hotel where we spent two and a half, two months pretty much. Uh, it's a pretty nice hotel, very modern. So this is the roof of our hotel. We have a magnificent roof and we're, we're in a really, really nice area of part of town. And over here, this is the car area. Uh, over down by that way is Juhu Beach. Uh, not exactly La Jolla Shores, but it's it's not bad. We tried to uh, 
go places and see places. We went to a rural village, village yeah. on a, a, some 60, 70 kilometers, 100 kilometers from Mumbai. We, we went, went to, to the Taj, Taj Mahal. Mahal. We went to Delhi. And how could we sum up this uh, internal experience in one word, guys? I'd say radical. It's absolutely radical. Eye-opening. Thought-provoking. 